I hope you're doing well today. This is going to be another barn vlog. I should just be going to the barn today on Saturday. I might be going tomorrow on Sunday, but I think I'm only vlogging today. I'm gonna be riding today and my boyfriend Matt will be videoing me, which will be helpful. So hopefully we'll get some good clips. So I just got to the barn. Thankfully I'm alone right now, so I won't be awkward vlogging. I'm gonna pull my pony out. Hi baby. She completely trashed her stall, so I might muck it before I leave. But yeah. Hi baby, you're actually not that dirty. You're not that dirty. Sorry if the fans are a little bit loud, but I just put Sassy on the cross ties. She's not terribly dirty. Her legs are a bit muddy, but I'm gonna give her a nice groom and then we're gonna ride. Now, I didn't show me putting the bridle on just because I wouldn't have anyone to like turn the camera off after I put it on. And she's typically good for just staying there, but sometimes she likes to walk into her stall. So I just decided to not include it, but this is what she looks like. I also put some boots on her and a little fly bonnet. I'm gonna walk her around a little bit to stretch her legs and then I'm gonna hop on her. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be voicing over my ride from this vlog. I am first warming up Sassy on a looser rein, starting to pick up the contact a little bit, and I believe I will be asking her to canter in a second. So I made her go through the puddle. She's usually good about water, but for some reason that day, she just would like stop in the puddle and try to drink from it, which is not good. So that canter transition was okay. She's always pretty lazy with her canter transitions, especially in the summer lately. And I'm just trying to sit the canter more and do a full seat as opposed to a half seat. But I do kind of hop into a bit of a half seat onto the long side right here because I'm encouraging her to stretch down a little bit. I'm still slowly starting to ask her to do more at the canter other than just kind of move forward. I'm trying to get her to stretch down. So I just rode her on the buckle on the long sides and she is starting to stretch down a little bit right here, which is good. I'm really happy with the improvement that Sassy's canter has made because typically she would be rushing off and I would not be able to canter her on the buckle like that. So I did pick up a little contact here and she did toss her head back there and I was she almost just broke there, but she tossed her head because of the flies. She almost broke again right there after going through the puddle. I think she was just getting a little bit tired because she's a bit chunky. And then bring her back down to a trot and I brought her down on a loose rein and then slowly bring her down to a walk. And then here is another canner transition. This one was okay, maybe a little bit more rushed than the first one, and I do have more contact here, but I should be sitting the canner a little bit more and lifting my hands, hopefully encouraging her to stretch a little bit more, but I will be doing that on the long side right here. My reins are starting to get a little bit looser, and she's definitely giving me some nice stretches right here. She could be a little bit lower, but I'm just trying to let her know that I am letting her take the pace that she wants, stretch her neck as much as she wants, and... I can also adjust your stride a little bit more now, which is nice. So I picked up more contact here, not on the buckle yet, but I think on the other long side, I might be encouraging her to stretch a little bit more. And then I tell her she's a good girl. I move my hands up a little bit. I need to work on lifting my hands more at the canter. It's just where Sassy's neck placement is. Sometimes it's a bit hard unless I like really lift them up high just because she does tend to hold a higher neck set. So she stretched her neck a little bit through the water and we're just cantering along the long side and brought down to a trot. And I was encouraging her to stretch a little bit more. When I'm warming up, I typically ride her on a pretty loose rein. 
So here she's stretching a little bit more. My hands are a little bit better, but I do kind of do like the bear paws where I don't actually have my thumbs up. And she gave me some beautiful stretching right here, which I was very happy with. She was reaching under herself more and just giving me nice, good stretches. And I bring her back down to a walk. And we're cantering poles now, I believe. I haven't cantered poles in forever with her and she did that very quietly. I struggle with cantering poles with Sassy because she still treats them like a jump. And this day she was a little rushy towards them, but that was usually my fault. I usually just got a little bit ahead of her. So this way she did rush the second time a little bit. It was not nearly as bad as her rushing used to be, but I really should have been sitting back more. And I did also get some off camera as well, but this one I'm just going to be trotting into it to try to get more of our cadence back and try to organize a little bit more. And you can tell she's getting a little bit tense here. I'm just trying to stay quiet with my body and she did trot over that a little bit choppy, but also quietly. So definitely appreciate that. And now I'm cantering the other way. She just kind of tossed her head because of the flies and I was also picking up a little bit of contact. So she's getting a little bit spicy. I need to find a happy medium with her with the contact, especially at the canner. So she rushed into this one a bit and I did fall forward a little bit after. I'm not really sure why. I think I was just relying on my hands too much. I really should be sitting back more and lifting my hands. And this way I did cut the corner short. And then I also cantered past the pole because I didn't want her to anticipate the pole. And with horses that rush, you kind of just have to like kind of outsmart them, but also stay quiet with your aids too. And I'm trying to stay quiet with my hands. I struggle a lot with my hands, especially when I get tired and she's pulling on me. So my equitation is not great here. And I brought her back down to a trot to try to do it more quietly. And I believe she does trot this one pretty nicely. She did stretch her neck out slightly. So I did give her a pat because she did it quietly. And then bringing her back down to a walk. And now I'm sitting trot the different way and actually, no, it's the same way. Sorry about that. And then I did pick up the canner and cantering down the long side a little bit more and through the water. And then she was pulling a little bit, but she wasn't rushing terribly. And I shouldn't have been leaning forward over the pole. I wish I just sat back and just kind of treated it like I was just cantering down the long side. And then I believe she gives me like the most beautiful trot that I've ever gotten out of her. She is really reaching in certain points, like right here. Love it. And she was just being really good and stretching for me, which I was very happy with. And here I'm trying to get her to soften a little bit more. She was getting pretty tense after the canter pulls just because she likes doing them and she got excited. But I decided to bring her to a sitting trot and push my hands forward so she can pick the pace and I can slow with my body. So once she softened for me at the sitting trot, I believe we ended our ride there and I gave her a nice stretchy walk to finish out. 